everybody and welcome back to Shanika Owens TV. In this video, I will be sharing with you guys my Walgreens haul for the week of 7-11 to 7-17. Not a lot going on at Walgreens and I did have some issues, but I wanted to point out this confused road and digital booster that we probably a majority of us receive a spin 22 get 6. It's spin 50 get 10 like I stated. So I used that and I did in return receive my $10 back in Walgreens cash. But my haul was free and a $17.33 moneymaker. And I did four transactions, but my rest rewards did not print. Walgreens, please get together. Make sure all your Catalinas are working because it was just a mess. But if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed to this channel, make sure your notification bells are on so you'll be notified when I post a new video. And please give the video a big Thumbs up, share the video, and comment down below. But if you guys want to see how my Walgreens haul turned out, then definitely keep watching. Okay guys, this is my Walgreens haul. So, uh, each week I give Walgreens a chance <laughs> because it would not be Walgreens if there weren't any issues. Like, oh my God. So, I did a total of four transactions. I did one on my husband's account, hoping to get um, a spin booster, but I found out later that the Catalina machine was not working. So, I received no rest rewards for these transactions for all of my transactions that require rest rewards and it must be the week of managers just not feeling it or whatever you want to call it because this manager at walgreens he was in his feelings today as well because he had to get called when i was in the store shopping around he was called maybe like four or five times so by the time he reached me when, when my rest rewards weren't printing it was just a mess. So I even got gypped out of a dollar, which is fine. I'm not about to sit there and argue with a manager over a dollar and try to go back and forth. So as long as you gave me a majority of my money back, I'm not going to argue over a dollar. But Walgreens, get it together. Make sure all your Catalina machines are working and you don't have to issue anybody any points. So with that being said, we're going to start off with my uh, first transaction I did was the game deal. Issue with this because rest rewards were not printing. So on my husband's account, like I said, I was hoping to get a, a spin booster, but because the Catalina was not working, yeah. So now I think it might, when I do my Walgreens video next time, I probably will have to go to a second Walgreens because I know I alternate between the two and I know which uh, store, what Catalina is working, which is crazy. But you have to know in order to get your rest rewards. But my first transaction, I did the game deal. I picked up two of the game liquids, the 50 ounce. And then one of the game flings, they're all off $4.99. And when you buy three, you get a $5 rest reward or store coupon. One of those. I don't know because mine didn't print. So with the game, you'll pick up three. Your total is $14.97. I had a $2 off digital coupon for the game liquid and a $2 off digital coupon for the game flings. I also had a printable coupon from PNGGoodEveryday.com for um, one of the game liquids as well. So you'll pay $8.97 and get back the $5 rest reward or store rest reward, making the final cost $3.97 for all three or just $1.32 each. But in this transaction, I did roll points hoping to get returned my $5 rest reward. But the manager did issue me $5 on my card, not my husband's card. Like he was so irritated. He like, can I just put them all on one card? And he was rushing. I'm like, that's fine. As long as you get my money back, it's not on my husband's card, which he don't have any points. Walgreens cash, a lot of it anyway. It is what it is, as long as I got my money back. So for my second transaction, I did pick up two of the Scott um, paper towels, and there's a really good fetch offer for these. So I picked up two regularly priced at $5. So you'll buy two of those. You'll use that $1.25 off IBC booklet that will deduct $1.25 off each. I also rolled in a $5 off store coupon in this transaction. So my final cost was $2.50. I rolled in three dollars of Walgreens cash and paid only a penny out of pocket. But there is a fetch reward offer when you buy two of the Scott paper towels, you get a fifteen hundred back 
So I got 1,500 points back on Fetch, which is equivalent to $1.50. There is another rebate as well. When you buy one Scott paper towel and one Scott bath tissue, I will pop it on the screen for you guys. So I only need uh, to purchase a Scott toilet paper to get that. I think it's 1,000 points for that bonus. So on my third transaction, I picked up the Dow and let me see all these receipts. I picked up the Dow, which is two for eight. And I picked up the Crest 3D White Toothpaste, which is $3. These are also on promotion of buy three, get a $5 rest reward. So I also added in this transaction because I want to roll points. I added in one of the Wet Ones hand sanitizers. This is a two ounce and I had a really good coupon for that. So that was $3.99. So for the Dow, I want to separate that. For the Dow, it's two for eight and the Crest is three. Your total was $11. You want to use a two off two digit coupon for the Dow or a paper coupon from the 7-Eleven Save, and you want to use a dollar off digital coupon for the Crest Toothpaste or a dollar coupon from the July PNG, you'll pay eight but get back the five dollar rest reward. And there isn't about a rebate for the Dow uh, Bar Soap of fifty cents times two, so I got that back, including the five dollars in points I got back. It'll make the final cost two dollars for all three, or just sixty six cents each, which I think is a pretty awesome deal for an eight bar of soap alone. So like I said, I added in a wet one hand sanitizer. That was $3.99 and I had a really good $3 off visual coupon for that. So it made that 99 cents. So I add that in as a filler to be able to roll in $10 in Walgreens cash. So my total was $8.99 for this transaction. I rolled in $10 in Walgreens cash and only paid 53 cents plus tax. In return, um, I did get the $5 in points back for the rest reward not printing and the dollar back from I bought it for the Dow uh, bar soap. So my final transaction was my big one, and that includes I picked up um, one of the Revlon of All May, our BOGO 50% off again this week, and spend 12 or more, get a $4 rest reward. So I picked up um, one of the, two of the Revlon lipsticks, one, were, one was $8.79, and then one was $4.39, so two totaled me $13.18. I had a $8 off two digital coupon for the Revlon or All May lip products, so I used that. So getting back the $4 rest reward, which I only received $3 in Walgreens cash, like I said, he gave me back $13 on the same card. $3 back in Walgreens cash, but when you get, if you use and go by what it's supposed to be, you'll get back a $4 rest reward. It'll make the final cost $1.18 or $0.59 cents each. Next I picked up was a complete awesome deal and freebie and my store only had one left. So I picked up the Aleve Pain Reliever Spray at $17.99. That is a good fetch reward offer that's giving you 100% back. So it gave me like $18 and like 10 cents back on fetch. So that was a money maker alone by itself. And I also want to tell you guys, before I go any further, I forgot to tell you. I'm working with this crazy spin um, 22 gets $6 back in Walgreens cash. That is not true, guys. When I shared on my community post, that booster, you have to spend 50 and get 10 because if you look on your left-hand side of that booster, it says $10 back in Walgreens cash. And when I check my email and I got the offer to clip it again, it says spend 50, get uh, 10. So I'm not sure what Walgreens is doing with that digital perk, but you have to spend 10 to get, you have to spend 50 to get 10 and not spend six to get 22, if that makes sense. Like I was really confused about that. And I know some of you guys in my community yeah. post said you were confused about that booster as well, but it's been 50, get 10. So moving right along, with the, after the all-may, I picked up two of the big pens. They are $1.99, so two would total you $3.98. There is a three off two digital coupon for the big pens, making the final cost $0.98 cents or just $0.49 cents each. Next, I picked up was Priscilla Laundry Detergent. They are $4.99, and when you buy two, you get a dollar in Walgreens cash. Like, it could have been $2 in Walgreens cash, Walgreens, but anywho. You buy two for four ninety nine. Your total is nine ninety eight. You want to use two of those two dollar off one for sale coupons from the Seven Eleven Save. There is also is a digital one as well if your store does not want you to do more than the amount allowed for the coupons. So you will pay five ninety eight. Get back the dollar in Walgreens cash, making it four ninety eight or two forty nine each. Last but not well, a couple more deals. Uh, so I picked up Kellogg cereal and they just on a promotion of one one eighty eight. So I picked up five. I picked up two of the fr uh, Fruit Loops, two of the Frosting Flakes, and one Apple Jacks. I should have got like three uh, or two of each one of those because of the Ibotta rebates, but we do like Apple Jacks as well. So you pick up five of those cereal. 
They will total you $9.40. You want to use that 3 off 5 Kellogg's printable coupon from coupons.com. If you print it, I don't think it's no longer available. There is also one in your Walgreens app as well. So you'll use that and you'll get 40 cents. Your, your rebates may vary because everybody's rebates are different. But I had a rebate of 40 cents for the Frosted Flakes and 40 cents for the Fruit Loops. There's also, it's a bonus. When you buy three different brands of cereal, you would get a Kellogg's bonus. So I got 50 cents plus the 164 uh, for of the offers for the uh, cereal. So that's, that's a total of $2.10. So it makes the final cost four thirty for all five boxes or 86 cents each, which I think is a pretty awesome deal for some cereal. And that's why I grabbed them and add them in my um, scenario to get to my $50. Last but not least, I added in two, uh, four of the Arizona iced teas as a filler because I thought I was not at the at the mark um, at my spend amount, but I wanted to throw those in just in case I wasn't. And I had a um, a store coupon that I was that I was using, so I wanted to make sure that I was not below that amount with using that store coupon. So I added those in there too for a dollar. So my total for everything was. Uh, fifty six dollars and fifty three cents. I use a five off store coupon that came off as well, and I used all of those coupons I mentioned, and I also had a five dollar off rest reward as well that I threw into this transaction. So it me it made my final cost of twenty eight dollars and fifty three cents, but I did get back ten dollars in Walgreens cash for spending fifty, a dollar back in Walgreens cash for the Persil. I got back three dollars in walgreens cash for my revlon deal which is supposed to be for but that's either near here nor there i got my money back well almost my money back and i got back 210 from ibotta for the cereal and i got back um 18 dollars and like 10 cents on ibotta for the aleve pain reliever spray so it makes all of that uh from for this um for my big transaction free and a five dollar and seventy three cents money maker, but counting all of my money makers and what with the rewards that I got back in this transaction, I got back five for the game deal that was on. He put it all on my card, so whatever as loans as I got my money back, I got back five dollars in Walgreens cash for the game deal. I got back a dollar in Walgreens cash for the Dow deal. I got back five dollars in Walgreens cash for the Dow deal. Virtual reward not printing as well. I got back 1,600 points on Fetch for the Scott deal and included my $5.73 moneymaker for the big transaction, which was my last one. So it makes everything free and a $17.33 moneymaker. I'll take that any day, especially guys, if you have that offer on Fetch for the Aleve deal, go and get that deal. The bottle is really small though, but to try something new and get your money back and that product is really expensive is a really awesome deal and i made a dollar profit off of it even though it was a free offer but it gave me back a little extra points and gave me 18 hours and like 10 cents back so that is it for my walgreens haul this week like i said rush rewards were not printing for me but i did receive uh receive more majority of my uh money back except a dollar <laughs> but it still was all a money maker for me so yeah guys that is it for my walgreens haul and let me show you guys all of these receipts and then that is it okay guys here's the first transaction receipt there is all of my game products to the liquids in one fling and my digital coupons came off and for some reason the printable coupon from um png good did not want to scan so she did enter that coupon in and like i said it was 8.97 rolled in five dollars in walgreens cash and paid 550 plus tax and didn't get anything back but he did issue me the five on my card so for this one here is the scott i use that five off store coupon and a dollar 25 off ibc booklet i was able to roll in three thousand in walgreens cash and pay a penny out of pocket didn't get anything back but i rolled in the three thousand walgreens cash but i did get back the fetch rewards offer here is the dow and the crest and there's a wet one hand sanitizer all of my coupons came off with no issues and i had that uh really awesome three dollar off uh digital coupon for the wet ones hand sanitizer my total was $8.99. I was able to roll in $10 in Walgreens cash and just pay $0.53 cents plus tax. Didn't get anything back but like $0.04. Cents. My final big transaction, there's the Revlon. There's the Arizona Teas, the Persil, the Big Pins, the Kellogg Cereal. And there is the Elise Spray. As you can see, my 5 off store coupon came off. 
all of my digital coupons came off but for some reason um the five dollar off brush reward when i scan all the three off five for the kellogg cereal when i scan so she did have to key those in my total was 28.53 like i said and i did get back the 11 dollars in walgreens cash 10 for spending 50 with the crazy booster and then a dollar for the uh Priscilla. Now, this is what the manager did, being in a hurry. He issued me all the Walgreens cash from my first card until my second. He just combined all of the issues that I had on one card. But as long as I got it back, it, it's okay. So there's a 10 for the game, and then one for the uh, Dow deal. And then here is the one for supposed to be in Revlon. It was supposed to be three, but he get four, but he gave me three. And I still ended with 445.57 after all of the errors at Walgreens this week. Oh, like I said, y'all, Walgreens is like a hit or miss. Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. But yeah, guys, so that is it for my Walgreens haul for it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found it helpful to point out what you can grab at Walgreens this week. Like I said, it's not a lot going on, but that fetch reward offer to try some new pain reliever was really, really awesome. With me getting back $18 in points, that was a money maker for me, a little slight money maker, but. All in all, with my issues at Walgreens, I still receive my money back, well, a majority of it. So that's a win-win, I guess. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And thank you to all my subscribers as well, coming back each and every week, watching my videos, sharing my videos, liking my videos, and doing all of that good jazz. You guys know it is greatly appreciated. I can't thank you enough, and I'll see you in my next one.